Welcome, dear friends. Today we venture into an unexpected corner of the internet, a digital frontier known as 4chan. Some view it as a chaotic realm of unruly discourse, a wild west of the digital age. But I'd like to invite you to view it through a different lens. Let us explore the idea of 4chan as a modern Zen garden. Now, a Zen garden at its core is a place of meditation, a microcosm that reflects the natural world. It's a place where one can observe the changing patterns of nature, the transient nature of existence. Now you might ask, how on earth could 4chan, known for its chaos, its trolling, its seemingly lawless discourse, be compared to the tranquility of a Zen garden? Well, let's look a little closer. In the unpredictability of 4chan, we see the constant flux of nature, the ceaseless change that is the essence of existence. The threads, like the sands of a Zen garden, are constantly shifting, forming patterns, creating narratives and then vanishing, making way for new threads, new narratives. Much like a Zen garden, 4chan is transient, ephemeral. Each post, each thread is like a ripple in the pond of the internet, existing for a moment, creating a pattern, a disturbance, then fading away, leaving no trace. This ephemerality echoes the Buddhist concept of anika, or impermanence, the understanding that all things, pleasant or unpleasant, come to pass. Then there's the art of raking the sands, a form of active meditation in a Zen garden. On 4chan, this can be likened to the act of engagement, of participating in the chaotic discourse, shaping it, directing it, much like the garden's caretaker shapes the patterns in the sands. But there's a deeper level of engagement here. The chaotic discourse of 4chan is not for the faint of heart. It demands a certain detachment, a certain acceptance of the chaotic, the absurd, the provocative. It's a lesson in mushin, or the mind without mind. It teaches us to let go of our preconceived notions, our judgments, our expectations, and to simply engage, simply be. So, dear friends, the next time you find yourself in the seemingly chaotic world of 4chan, perhaps you could view it as a modern Zen garden. Observe the patterns, engage with the chaos, accept the transience, understand the impermanence. And who knows, amidst the trolls and memes, the debates and discourses, you might just find a moment of Zen, a moment of tranquility, a moment of understanding. As we continue our exploration, we begin to realize that the Zen garden of 4chan also serves as a playground for the practice of Wu Wei, or effortless action. This Taoist concept advises us to move in harmony with the flow of life, to act without forcing, to respond to life's unpredictability with grace and ease. Just like the raked sands of a Zen garden invite the observer to find peace amidst the patterns, the threads of 4chan invite users to find their own flow within the chaos. In every thread, every post, every meme, there is a dance of perspectives, a play of ideas, an interplay of contrasting voices. The seeming chaos of 4chan, then, is not merely disorder, but a form of order that defies our conventional understanding. Much like the paradoxes that abound in Zen teachings, it's an ecosystem where ideas flow freely, where discourse is raw and unfiltered, where freedom of expression is taken to its extreme. Much like the gardener who creates harmony within the chaos of nature by aligning himself with the flow, the 4chan user finds his own rhythm within the chaos, learning to engage without resisting, to participate without attaching, to navigate the waves of discourse with the ease of a skilled surfer. And within this digital Zen garden, there is room for laughter, for humor, for the absurd. Zen teachings often use humor and absurdity to provoke enlightenment to jolt the mind out of its habitual patterns. Similarly, the humor and absurdity in 4chan can serve as a tool for breaking free from conventional thinking, for viewing the world from a different perspective. So, dear friends, as we wander through the Zen garden of 4chan, let us learn to dance with the chaos, to flow with the currents of discourse, to find humor in the absurd, let us embrace the practice of Wu Wei and find our own way of effortless action in the digital realm. As we walk further down this unusual path, 
we discover yet another layer of our digital Zen garden. The ephemeral threads, the chaotic discourse, the engaging patterns, they all point towards an understanding of the concept of Mu, a Zen term that roughly translates to neither yes nor no, or does not have. In the Zen tradition, Mu is often the answer to unasked or wrongly phrased questions, a reminder of the limitations of dualistic thinking. 4chan, with its plethora of contrasting voices, varied ideas, and unpredictable narratives, exemplifies Mu. It is neither entirely good nor entirely bad. It doesn't conform to conventional ideas of right and wrong, appropriate or inappropriate. It simply exists, much like the Zen garden. 4chan pushes us to move beyond binary thinking, to embrace the complexity and paradoxes of life. Just like Zen koans, the threads of 4chan can often be enigmatic and contradictory, prompting us to question our assumptions, challenge our beliefs, expand our perspectives. And isn't that the essence of Zen? To question, to inquire, to look beyond the obvious, to find the extraordinary within the ordinary. Isn't that what 4chan, in all its chaos and complexity, prompts us to do? So, dear friends, as we navigate the labyrinth of 4chan, let's remember to see it as our digital Zen garden, an unlikely sanctuary that challenges us, provokes us, sometimes even annoys us, but ultimately leads us towards greater understanding and awareness. Let's embrace the chaos, engage with the threads, laugh at the absurd, question the obvious, challenge the status quo, and in doing so, let's find our own path, our own truth, in this ever-changing digital landscape.